to take slaves, uh, also do trade. And a lot of people died in 1894, 95. They died, a lot of people. So if you have got a movement of people, no vaccination, uh, you will get a lot of death. So therefore, it's absolutely true that uh, we should stop this fighting. Uh, the I'm fluent in French, excellent. Uh -huh. Because, because the, the, um, we told them from the beginning, we, 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 to, we told them prevention, prevention is better than, than a cure. The, I don't know why the, she can tell us, because, because they were trained, uh, very good trained people, but trained in diseases, as uh, they are called. They are not called health officers, they are called medical officers. Meaning you, you, you wait for people who are already sick, then you manage them. So we, when we came from the bush, we said, no, why don't you become health officers? And, and, and I asked them, and they, they told me, they said 80% uh, of the diseases are preventable. So we said, okay, if, the, if 80 percent are preventable, why do you have to have all these sick people in the hospital with the legs up? Uh, uh, why, why? Why do you enjoy that? So we started with immunization. Immunization was a big success. That's how the population now has grown to 46 million. They were 14 million, 1986. They were 14 million. But it has grown because of immunization. So then we said, OK, why don't you add safe water? When they add safe water, it eliminates a number of diseases. The, 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 the cholera, the what? There was a, a disease in the north called Guinea worm. That one has disappeared. Birhazia has disappeared because they were all from bad water, bad water, bad water, bad water. So that one has done well. The, the, and I was telling them, you don't have to do that Minister of Health. It's you the Minister of Water. Minister of Water to develop the water. And then you get rid of all the waterborne, mm. waterborne diseases. So I think that one has moved well. Mm. Then now, the other big disease is malaria. Malaria control, controlling the vector, vector control. Malaria, the mosquito. The, mos the mosquito, the tsetse fly, they, are, they don't fully, it's, they do but not, not fully. Because if they did, malaria would be wiped out. Uh, so they are, they are the marks I deduct. I deduct marks from, from them. Then now, the gyna medicine, we are moving very well. So I'm very happy with your plan. The plan of, that, that's our big, that was our, our we have been struggling with that for a long time. One of our, our oldest factories, the quality chemicals, 
Oh, they have been struggling to sell to Zambia, to sell to, to, to even East Africa. Uh, so your plan would work very well, would help us to off-take, off-take. The off-take would stimulate uh, production. The other points were what? There were the other points, the ones you started with. We, we started with... Uh, in Southern Africa, all over the place. The, during the, the time of Amin, when there was insecurity, many, many professionals left, uh, but uh, others have come up. So it, it, it definitely Uganda can share with, with the, the Africa that capacity of... of uh, they, they, they have the capacity. Uh -huh. There was a final point. Hmm? He's talking about the village health teams. Village health teams. Or the MPOC. The village health teams, the, the, the village health teams who go and educate people. Yeah, but this, this is where they could educate with the other one, like the nutrition, what I was yeah, talking yes. about. Yes, I, I, yes, Excellency. Mm. That is what you have always been telling us. Absolutely. The village, if uh, that would be very good. That's what I was talking about. Yes. Uh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. The other point, there was like one point more. Excellency, you covered without taking note. You covered all my all of my points. <laughs> yes. <laughs> very good. I'm so impressed, <laughs> honestly. Thank you, uh -huh. Your Excellency. Allow me first of all to thank you again for accepting to see us and to thank you for creating the African CDC as a coordinating body for fighting diseases within Africa. The African CDC is doing very well. You will recall the first director general was called John Nkengason. He was later on taken back to the US and is currently the PEPFA ambassador in the US. So the second director general is Dr. Jean Kaseya. Jean Kaseya felt it very important to come and appreciate you for creating the African CDC, but also discuss with you what the African CDC is doing in the region, coordinating health. It's with great pleasure that I come here seeing my father getting blessing also. Uh, I can apologize for my predecessor who didn't come, but we have to come to Uganda regularly for many reasons. One of the reasons is your knowledge of the continent. I met so many of your colleagues, but I can say it's, my f <laughs> it's one of my first time to hear about this kind of knowledge. Having this knowledge, it means you know also the context of your continent. But <clears throat> you decided, and uh, Excellency, I have some record also from you, when you said we need to have an African-led public health organization. Mm. Because mostly we're depending on external organizations, external partners. That one was not making us secure. You decided to create Africa CDC in 2016. Today, your baby, I'm taking care of your baby. Your baby is a teenager, but is also an adult because Africa CDC is respected. We are leading this agenda for the 55 countries in Africa, but we are representing Africa Everywhere, people, they want to hear the voice of Africa. This is why for a number of outbreaks, for a number of issues, we are taking the lead. If we talk about MPOX, we took the lead first to declare the public health emergency. For the first time, an African organization declared that in Africa. We took the lead to have one continental response plan and we were looking for 590 
$1.9 million, but we got $1.1 billion. It means what we got from external partners, it's because they respect us now. And I said, you have, as your excellency, you have to be proud of that. I come to say to you, this is what your baby is doing today, to okay. take care of you. Mm. But your baby needs also your support. Because uh, we have a number of issues, and I wanted to share with your excellency. The first one is about the reform, the AU reform, that must give us opportunity to efficiently lead this agenda. Like this money we are getting, we cannot receive that in Africa CDC due to the AU processes. We to need the, to, to the AU? The African Union process, you know, their business model. Because if we receive this money today, they are not allowing us to use that. And under your leadership, His Excellency, we really want uh, to engage you for more autonomy of Africa CDC. Because we are dealing with outbreaks. As you know, there are outbreaks that can kill so many people at the same time. 